towards us. Coming up, to be the best, it'll take efficiency, strategy, and most of all, pure pedal power. The race is on when Explorer returns on TBS Superstation. Back to National Geographic Explorer. Morning. Back in Washington, James Kearns right is there. hard at work. This is a, this Qualifying trials are about to begin. The uh, Cannondale banners, start finish banners, need all that stuff down here ASAP too, right? We have to block the streets, get the barricades up, put the banners up, get the civilians off the course, watch the cars, line the course and go. Competitors are already warming up and working out the kinks. You're here to race. His name is Shorty. Is that a joke? Oh. He's a very good racer. That's what I'm telling you. Very good racer. The Five. main race is between 12 and 4 today. Most of us go around 2.30. Two They'll compete downtown in the shadow of the U.S. Capitol. The course forms a grid across four separate avenues. For the green team and the Boulder boys, this is their chance to study the race course. Finally, it's showtime. There's a cargo race to see how much you can carry. A sprint competition. Even a team relay. But the hardcore racers are here for the individual competition. And no matter what event it is, everyone experiences a wild ride. Today's traffic is all on two wheels. Still, it helps to look both ways. In the midst of the chaos, Hanson and Pat battle through their qualifying round. Everyone is feeling the pressure. Well, not everyone. There's no dignity in finishing with your clothes on. James Kearns watches as the casualties mount. Even the checkpoints claim victims, including Pat. You took my four last time. You told me to give it to you. I want it back because I wasn't supposed to drop it. This no, 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 I picked it up. You gave me. The, I gave you one of those two. My bad. My bad, bro. Yep, yep. See, now I'm behind. And as the qualifying rounds finally come to a close, the results are buried in a heap of manifest. All over the course, tempers are coming to a boil. There was no budget for instant replay. I'm an innocent bystander. I just saw what happened. I was sitting right there. You gave up. 20 yards. Wait, no. You don't try to waste that forever. You can yell all you want. The judge's rule is final. That's in the rules. But There's the no is. arguing. If you're working no. and you have a package and you throw it at the front door, that's delivered. I don't give a. <laughs> James keeps the day in perspective. Right now, we separate the weekend riders from the hardcore. Tomorrow, 120 of the best riders will be out there. 80 men and 40 women. This has been the fun part. The serious business begins tomorrow. If you didn't know they were bike couriers, you might think it's Halloween. <laughs> 
on bikes. Remember that. Just in case you ever need your package to make contact. The title held by me, M.O.B. We make all types of special deliveries. So don't think we be sitting around in the spandex shorts with the fake Oakleys on. Riding through the streets with precision and guidance. So when you're gonna call, take a look back. Cause you never quite know where the M.O.B.'s right at. On the morning of the big race, this group is in no hurry to get down to business. A photo in front of the Capitol offers the messengers time to commune before they compete. But the finals beckon. All are wondering who will be the best. Shorty and Hanson will start at the front of the pack. But Mark and Pat didn't do as well. They'll be starting some 25 riders behind. Everyone's starting together today. 80 riders running to their bikes. So if you're in the front row, you get up to your bike first and you're out of there. For us, it's going to be kind of hard. No mistakes and go like hell. And that's the only thing that's going to move us up, hopefully into the top 10. In a race like this, efficiency counts as much as speed. But once again, the checkpoints are a ball of confusion. Yet somehow, Hansen navigates the checkpoints with relative ease. And for a while, Pat manages to keep pace. But as the race wears on, Pat and Mark start falling behind. Should be stamped pick and drop. No, did you? Yes, I picked and you saw my drop? Yes, stamped and drop and you pick. Go, go, go. I actually got stamped because the guy didn't stamp my pick earlier, so I had to do it twice. I need pick For others, it's not all so serious. Lap after lap, manifest after manifest, the green team is working like a well-oiled machine. Lock the bike. Pick and drop. Pick and drop. After nearly three hours of burning rubber, Shorty begins his last manifest. In the end, his long legs carry him across the finish line first. If you want your package delivered on time, Shorty is your man. A disappointed Pat Yonda places 43rd. He won't be gracing the Wheaties box anytime soon. Mark Swanson's bike breaks down. He places 71st. And Hanson, the Terminator, finishes second. Surprisingly, he's okay with that. I was second. I tried six times to win this title here. And today it was so close. But okay, I get beaten by one of my best friends, so it's okay. The green team will return to Copenhagen with well-earned bragging rights. For the rest of the field, it's back to work tomorrow. Delivering messages, dodging cars, and dreaming of next year.